for me, gender's hard, but actually race is much harder. Much right. harder. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind being a woman, but actually being Chinese has been a problem. I feel very comfortable living in a country which is a country of migrants. So New Zealand is no longer white and it's probably not going to be so white for so long. And it's interesting, right, that the demographics change in the last five years. It's gone from a, a relatively a typical Auckland, South Pacific suburb to now my new neighbours have moved out. There's a lot of Chinese, Koreans, totally different cultures. How, what's their relationship with Māori Dim going to be? And new people are going to arrive and we should welcome them here. But what you don't want is that the policies which bring in some people rather than other people or lots of people to one place rather than another place change the country in a way which is unfair to the people who are already there. And if you say, what would you say to a young European kid who doesn't have any access to, to martyrdom? What would you say to those young first generation Korean kids that are coming over? Where do, where do they get that, that thing and what's their relationship with it going to be? So if someone comes from a different place and space than yourself, you need to be welcoming and open to listen to their story, understand their beginnings and be with them for their future. Because they've already got a difficult relationship in a way with, 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 with European and, then to, and New Zealand in general, and then once they get deeper into that, maybe they'll actually... Maybe they'll actually be better New Zealanders. I believe in the United Nations declarations on human rights, and that's why I love living in this country, that all are born equal. All are due equal respect and dignity, regardless of characteristics they can't help, like gender or race. And the first people where fairness supplies is Māori, but it's not only there. It's actually the, the cultures and the belief and the, um, the rights of the people who are there have to be preserved as the new people come in, and they can be. With immigration, New Zealand has changed massively over time, and um, Māori have become a smaller and smaller part of New Zealand over a very long period of time. I feel very welcome among Māori people. I've been invited in several marais. Um, the, the Māori people appreciate indigenous communities, and so for them, as an African, I don't need to get rid of my Africanness for them to belong. And this has the risk of isolating Maritim, um, a risk of isolating Tangata Fenua, which I think we must hang on to because that is the DNA of New Zealand. I have had no problems at all as an African among Maori communities. I feel more welcome there. And um, I feel like their spirituality connects with my spirituality as an African, where the physical and the spiritual are connected. Um, so we can speak the same language um, and we can understand one another. I think it is time for us to have a national conversation that builds on the Treaty of Waitangi, that gives us a new sense of what it means to be a New Zealand, where it still embodies that sense of history but also that sense of the future, where it is going to be a very different place, but the values can still be very consistent.